What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have this 2007 Volkswagen EOS and today we are going to clone the original ECU from this car to this one. So as you can see the car is running and well they call me because this car has a bunch of problems. The cooling fans are turning on by itself when the vehicle's off and well they already diagnosed the vehicle. It's also having another issues and we're gonna clone this uh, the original computer to this donor computer okay entonces tenemos este 2007 uh, Volkswagen EOS y vamos a clonar la computadora usando la UTEL uh, bueno es el autofix pero es casi la misma cosa so this is the autofix pretty much the same thing like the autel uh, it works the same and well the first thing I do is I just read codes clear them run the vehicle again and see what's um, what goes off and what comes back entonces lo que siempre hago es leer los códigos siempre los borro y luego los vuelvo a leer otra vez para ver qué es lo que está pasando y pues este carro tiene una falla eléctrica hasta puedo escuchar la pompa de gasolina prendida sola todo el tiempo so uh, this car has a bunch of electrical issues I can hear the power the fuel pump running right now and it's not even the car is not even running it's just on so that's the uh, the problem so you can see we have those bunch of problems the ignition key is off and I still have the fan running so that's not something we want and well that's a very interesting issue alrighty so first thing we gotta do is we're gonna take the computer off and we're gonna see we're gonna see if this hotel supports that um that computer so first thing we gotta do is go back we got to we gotta go to mobilizer i'm gonna select volkswagen you have to have wi-fi for this tienes que tener wi-fi prendido para esto entonces vamos a seleccionar el modo experto y vamos a buscar engine y lo vamos a hacer en bench es una Bosch y tenemos que buscar la 9.1 voy a hacer esta 19.1 mejor ahorita lo voy a hacer como Smart Selection va a leer la información y va a ver si me deja hacerlo ok, Keep Transponder esto es todo lo que ocupa so this is all the information we need Okay, so number of keys present three. Well, I actually have two, and does a ECM permit respond and all that. Okay, so let me do what I can, what I can do. So I'm not just gonna back up the vehicle data first, and we gotta connect the programmer for this. So I'm gonna bring the programmer in a little bit. I'll be back. All right. Okay, so right now it's gonna read the EEPROM data, and we're just gonna wait. I'm backing up all this information using the original computer. So let's just wait. It will take a while. So I'll be back when this is up. Oh, looks like it was good. So let's just save it right here. That's the file saved and this is pretty much all the information we need pin code the cs code is your hardware pretty much all the information you need all right so we press ok ok again and well if you hit parts uh, replacement it says vehicle emo contains the ecm and instrument cluster if you need replacement uh, expert mode parts replacement and we're just gonna go over here and I gotta go back uh, parts placement where is it uh, emo adaptation and this is to synchronize the data uh, when you replace the computer so we're gonna do that one small selection let me show you again ahorita les voy a mostrar otra vez lo que tienen que hacer van a presionar que si 
que sí, ok Escape Y ahorita vamos a ver en Parts Placement Aquí está Y va a ser IMO número 4 Entonces Ah, una vez con esta información ahora sí vamos a reemplazar la computadora vamos a poner esa ahí enfrente alrighty guys so we are here and I'm actually reading the computer so here we have it I uh, almost forgot to mention you have to make sure you have the right um, part numbers so this is the part number right here Eleven. it's gonna be 1Q uh, 907 11D or B. The, this one is backwards, so you can read it. It's the same part number. So, what I'm using here? So, I use the diagram from the computer. Let me show you right here. So, this is the diagram if you need it. The pinout layout for the uh, MD 1.1 or 19.1. Also, I check the wiring by going to the program right here this is the uh, uh pretty man software and uh, this is a 2007 volkswagen eos 2.0 and here we have the pinout if you have the 2.0 that's the pinout if you have a 3.2 liter that's the pinout so take a good look not everyone is gonna give you this information so take a good look i'm gonna just go back over here and that should take care of it uh, the blue one's gonna be the key line, uh, which is the 86, 86 pin. That's the 86, and can low, can high. That's to uh, connect to the computer as if you were in the vehicle. So, right now, what I'm doing is waiting again the 30 minutes. And, like I said, if it fails or takes way too much time, I'm gonna have to open the computer and I'm gonna have to use the k -Tech, which is the for use on bench. And let me show you right here. So this is the computer. Um, you need to remove it and you have to open it carefully because it has glue on the side. So you're gonna have to be really careful not to damage this, especially this is the uh, processor. We have one, two, three on the side and I believe that's another chip so this is where you're gonna make the reading and you're gonna need a special cable that's a ribbon cable you're gonna need a special um, pin to solder so let me just take you over here this is gonna be the pins you're gonna need these are the pins right here so you have to solder it to the board and you're gonna use the ribbon uh, reader so that's a another thing if that fails and I'm pretty sure it will take a long time so that's why I'm filming all this to make sure you guys get the um, the right information entonces estoy grabando todo esto para que vean lo que estoy haciendo lo que tengo que hacer es uh, copiar la información de esta aquí y pues ya hice la lectura de inmovilización del vehículo primero uh, tienes que leer como vieron en el video al principio so as you saw in the beginning of the video I made the immobilizer reading first of the target vehicle and then we need to read the immobilizer information from this which is the donor tenemos que leer la información del donador también para poder hacer el cambio y este pues va a hacerlo completamente el bin number se va a transferir todo las llaves a los códigos de llave para poder prender la computadora todo se va a imprimir se va a pasar ahí so um, everything will be transferred doing the um, the mobilizer adaptation but first like I said we have to read this computer so just gonna give it some time I have my charger here so pretty much I have all the time in the world right now and well, it's 151, so I'll come back if we get any response. All right, so this, since this thing is taking way too much time, took about an hour already, and it's not doing anything. So we're gonna opt to change it to this. So let me explain you what I have right here. So we have the K-Tech, and look at this. I can read it really quick with this. 
so the what we have to do is we have to solder this let me take you to the beginning of this thing so we're gonna select this one here here are the instructions so connect to the ECU we're gonna open it and we're gonna check we're gonna see those uh, dots there we're gonna use only this section right here the last four will will we'll not use those so we're gonna use direct connection using the ribbon cable and that section right here we're not gonna use that so let me explain you let me show you really quick so you can see we're not gonna use that section right there if you can see the last four uh, will remain intact so um the next step it will be to connect everything this is the layout for the ribbon this is the pin number one right here so we're gonna just put it like this like that we're gonna power up the unit like that and then we're gonna select ok and this is gonna be the MPC MPC 562 and this is the MPC 562 there you go alright so Next step, press OK, and we're gonna read it. So it will identify the ECU, and then it will start reading the whole thing. So we're just gonna give it some minutes until it's done. So this is the main information for the computer that I want to uh, transfer the information. So as you can see, this is a 2.0, and yep. I'm just gonna wait for this uh, tool to be done and then I'm gonna open up this one and um, just clone it. We're not gonna do anything like this because it was, just takes a lot of time. So here we have it. It already read the information so now it's gonna read the EPROM. Um, so just gonna wait a little bit longer. And that was pretty quick. Let's just wait and wait and wait so this is pretty much the step that's gonna be more effective as you can see I have the file already so I'm gonna name this med 9.1 Volkswagen uh, EOS 2007 2.0 liter and this is gonna be the original ECU. All right, so I'm going to create a new file. I mean, a new folder in the desktop right here. There we go. I'm gonna name it that. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna open it and save it right here. Do you want to save files separately? Yes. All right. So let's just check our file. Uh, let me see where is it. It's right here. So these are the files. Pretty much everything I need for that vehicle. So original ECU. Okay, so next step is I'm gonna open the other ECU. Entonces el paso que sigue voy a abrir la otra computadora y hacer el mismo procedimiento. Alright guys, so I'll start working on the other one and I have to open it and do the same procedure I'm gonna read the information also from that one and then just gonna copy it and paste it all right all right so everything's already connected and here we go for the second read on this one so we're gonna read it make sure it's reading the computer and there we go we're getting some info already so we should see it right there and there we go that's the information we need well uh, I'm gonna give it some moments again for this uh, information to be read all right so I'll be back when this is done once I read the information I'm gonna copy the other information I'm gonna make another folder here and I'm gonna name it 
MDE 9.1 um, donor ECU back up data well it's pretty much the original uh, ECU the backup data but I'm gonna just I always make two separate folders all the time because I don't want uh, any errors once I get it done I'm gonna make a third folder and I'm gonna make a copy of the original information and just copy it to the other computer uh, you can do whatever you want but I do this this process all the time just in case something fails well those are the dots right there yeah this be pretty much once I get it done I'm gonna connect this with this and I'm gonna read it and make sure it's it's reading the same information like this one so on this the original bin was let me show you really quick the original bin was this one so I must have the same bin number on this one once I read the information alrighty guys so I'll be back okay, so I already did the reading and everything so now we're gonna read the uh, write the file so we're gonna press write and you're gonna select the file that you uh, read from the original ECU so this is gonna be the file we're gonna select this one open it's gonna identify the ECU and then it's gonna start writing the file into the computer so let's just wait 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 and there we go the writing process started already so um, usually takes uh, the same amount amount of time so I'll be back when this is done again all right so looks like it's ready there we go writing successfully completed so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure the computer is alive read the information and make sure everything is good to go all right so let's do it all right so we got everything already done and let's do this so i'm gonna power up the ecu and there we go it's alive so now we're gonna check the pin number make sure it matches the original one so we're gonna read the information and there we go 673 so this computer is successfully cloned so we have two identical computers now and yep this is pretty much the original pin number that i want to see okay so <clears throat> we are here in the car and we have the donor uh, computer already connected connected so this is the original computer and let me just get the keys actually have the keys right here so let's check it out all right so this should be a direct fit we don't have to program anything else so it should start the vehicle all right so let's see there we go all right guys so we successfully cloned the engine computer for this 2007 Volkswagen EOS and doing everything with the k tech i'll tell couldn't do it couldn't even retrieve the uh, part number so it was a successful clone all right guys so this will be pretty much the end of the video please if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe comment down below turn notifications on and i'll see you on the next episode you fix out bye